Hi sewing friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Polly and this is the sewing edit. It's been a hot minute, probably a little bit more than a hot minute that I've been here. I have just been busy with life. So as you guys know, I started a job um, a few months ago, well, a few months ago in November, and it really picked up and I needed to time to adjust to, do, to my role. I needed time to really get up to um, doing things at work. I, I was at home for about five years before that. So it took me some time to get used to being back to the office. Well, not really the office because I was working, I'm working mostly from home, uh, but still turning things around, working on uh, on Excel sheets, what I used to do uh, is a little bit of a, it just takes a little bit of a time and adjustment for my brain to go back into things. Uh, and because of me adjusting to my work, uh, I have not had any, any time to sew or to vlog or to do any fun hobby stuff. Uh, so to be honest, I was a bit more or less ready in the beginning of March and I was starting to plan my um, videos. But uh, to be honest, the uh, current situation in Europe and in particular Ukraine affected me deeply because I have quite a lot of friends from there. I feel for them. Um, I'm really sad. My heart goes out for everyone out there uh, who is uh, going through through a very hard times. So I just want to raise my hand and I say um, I'm with you there. If I can do something, I've done some charity work, uh, but I just wanted to raise it because um, I don't think we in the sewing community speak enough about it and uh, these are human lives that are being impacted and I can't just um, smile all the time and say everything is fine because it really isn't and uh, I recognize that but at the same time we have to create a balance in our life uh, in my opinion and to create a bit of a balance um, with with something that nurtures you is for me is 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 uh, sewing and uh, uh, connecting with other sewists as well so um you know again the, our hobby is hopefully bringing us together and uh, i had a lot of time to reflect i have as i said i haven't been sewing but i was able to um, think a lot about sewing and uh, what i mean by that is um I was more thinking about the designs and details and what do I really need in my uh, wardrobe because I have quite a lot of things. I do have to mention that I have gained uh, quite a lot of weight for the last uh, two, three months and because I've been sitting most of the time, I haven't done a lot of exercises. So I do need a little bit uh, of new clothes. Um, I'm not really desperate, but it, 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 it makes it exciting for me to think of new clothes. So um, I have things to do um, and I thought today I will make a little bit of a sewing vlog, um, just very casual, getting into it. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, for an upcoming sewing project, I have, um, I'm planning something that I've never done before. So I thought I'll take you through uh, the process of what, I, uh, what I'm going to do today. Um, and it's basically, I want to dye some fabric and um, I want to dye tulle. Um, and I have this tulle for quite some time in my stash. Uh, I used to do uh, bridal accessories and some of the things that I used to sell were um, veils. So I have quite a lot of uh, bridal tools still and I want to make something with it. And since it's white, I am not quite sure that um, that would suit my wardrobe, my current wardrobe right now. So I wanted to dye it, but I can't remember what is the content of, of, um, of the tool that I have. So I'm going to shoot a little bit in the dark, but I chose to um, I chose to dye it and see what comes out of it. So today I thought I will take you through the process of uh, what will happen with my tool. Um, and I bought this Dylon tool, uh, Dylon um, dye. It, uh, it, I think it's primarily for, um, it's for 
non-synthetic fabrics, really na natural fabrics die the best from what I uh, research and what I, uh, what I learned. Wh why I chose this, that apparently Dylon have different packages um, and different ways of dyeing. I really didn't want to go through uh, the hand, uh, hand wash uh, process of dyeing. So I chose the very easy uh, uh, version, which is basically putting this uh, dye, uh, which is actually a powder that you unpack it and you put it in the washing machine um, on certain degrees. I still need to read the instructions, but uh, I'm planning to put my tool with um, the dye in the washing machine. And I think um, just to make the best out of it, because the tool, as much as it's, I have a lot of tool, I, I don't think it's, it's as it will not, I, I can take better advantage if I uh, put some extra clothes that I plan on dyeing. And this is a pair of jeans that I'm showing you here. Um, there, I love these jeans. Um, I bought them probably two years ago. I've worn them quite a lot. And they have uh, lost their color a little bit. They're a little bit um, dark grayish now, as you can see. Uh, so I'm planning to see what will come out of it. I've seen people dyeing uh, jeans, especially with this kind of dye. So I'm gonna give it a try. And uh, while I was online shopping, I decided to buy another color too, which is uh, peony pink. And I think I forgot to mention this is, uh, uh, this one is the intense black version of Dylon. And this one is peony pink. Um, Probably I'm thinking if that works out with the tulle, I can dye some tulle in peony pink because uh, I have some ideas as well. And maybe I can dye some other stuff with, uh, with this dye. But as I said, I've never tested it. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to see what comes out of it. And uh, I'll take you with me. Hopefully it'll be fun for you. sewing friends <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm just I'm just laughing because this is my second my third attempt on um, trying to uh, make a very short video of telling you that I have read the instructions on dyeing fabric and all my settings on vlogging are just so complicated that I just keep on forgetting whether to switch on uh, uh, lighting or to put on my microphone or uh, put a setting on slow motion so anyway it's anyway guys um, whatever uh, so going back to what I was doing I just read the instructions on what needs to be done in terms of dyeing the fabric and um, uh, jeans that I want to do. So what I need to do is dampen first uh, the jeans and I need to probably dampen my uh, tulle and then I'm going to put it in the washing machine with this funky looking um, tube or whatever you call it um, without the packaging of course uh, on 30 degrees uh, coloring and um, yeah, setting in the washing machine. And then do you do the same uh, uh, washing set uh, machine setting uh, without a dye. So I guess, you know, um, trying to set the dye into the uh, fabric. So let's give it a try and see what happens.
sewing prints, a little insert here. I just um, removed the little leaflet that was on top of on the lid of uh, the dye package. And there are some useful inf uh, instructions here that I wanted to share with you should you decide to rush quickly and dye your fabrics and don't really read that. That's quite useful here. So I wanted to share a few tips and tricks here that I'm reading. And by the way, Watch your hand, wash your, watch your skin because I didn't use gloves, duh. And I still have some um, dye left over, so be very careful how you use. So just in terms of fa uh, uh, fabric content, so fabric ty uh, types that can be used with this uh, fabric. I'm just going to show you the other package that I have at the moment. And um, this can be used for cotton, linen, viscose. Uh, mixed fabric so containing synthetics or you can use it for wool, wool silk and fully synthetic fabrics that's new to me because I used I thought that this this um, this dye is only for um, natural fabrics uh, fibers but apparently you can use it with mixed uh, fabrics and also with fully synthetic fabrics and in terms of fabric amount, you could use up to 600 grams of dry fabric um, for one uh, package. Um, if you use more than one, you have of, um, not, so in, not so impactful color. So the color is a little bit uh, lighter, I assume. Um, also, what I read was that um, Actually, there should be three cycles. So the first cycle uh, of, on your washing machine should be with the package only. So the damp clothes and the package. Once this is finished on 30 or 40 degrees, I actually did mine on 30 degrees and I regret it a little bit because I wish I put it on 40 uh, for my um, uh, fabrics. But anyway, just be aware that you can use it on 40 degrees or on 30 degrees and then you should remove the empty package and run the same cycle with uh, washing detergent with the dyed clothes. And then there is a third cycle, which is just basically to clean your washing machine. Um, and that means you remove the fabric that uh, you've just dyed and you just put a little bit of washing detergent on an empty cycle in your washing machine and just let it run so you make sure that the next wash that you have to do is not going to be dyed in whatever color you're dyeing. Just be aware of that. Um, I hope that's useful. I also read somewhere that you should not add like salt or vinegar or extra uh, ingredients to the dyeing process. Just put this uh, package without the wrapping, of course, just like I showed you in my video, and um, just use that and put it in the washing machine, you're good to go. Hi sewing friends, I'm back uh, with uh, some results from my dyeing. A uh, little bit surprising results, but I want to show it to you. So let me switch, uh, flip the camera so you can see uh, first the, I think, um, I will share with you first the jeans and then I'll show you the tube. Well, black is quite difficult to film, but I hope you can see they're quite opaque and I'm quite happy with the result. Here it is. So you can see maybe on the light, they're almost dry, but um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. So this is the first item that I dyed. Hey friends, same day, a little bit later. Uh, again, I wanted to share with you the results from my tulle dyeing. Um, what can I say? It is the least I expected, to be honest. Um, basically, the color that I wanted was black and it's nowhere near black. However, I'm quite happy with it. Um, so here is uh, the tulle color. Ta -dum, ta -dum. Yes, I know, it's pink. It's like a smoky, salmony pink. And to be quite honest, yes, I know it's not um, black what I wanted, but I quite like this color. And to be honest, when I went into dyeing this tulle, I went into it without having high expectation. If it, go, it, if it gets black, it gets black. If it gets gray, which I thought that would be the case, um, I said, okay, I'll have a gray, uh, whatever I'm planning to, to sew. 
but uh, to be honest I never expected that color having said that I'm quite happy to have this color so um, as I said previously I didn't know what was the content of the bridal tulle but um, apparently it's uh, yeah it's it's obviously it's not fully uh, uh, natural fabrics which I was to be expected so um, what I need to do next is um, I need to iron it and um, start working on my project you which you will hear about very very soon um, but I thought I'll, I'll share my process with you for anyone who is interested in dyeing um, hope that's useful for you and Quite honestly, I had uh, quite a good laugh today and I really enjoyed actually doing a little sewing vlog uh, for you. Um, once again, I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who reached out to me and um, asked how I'm doing. I'm fine, as I said. Um, thank you for, for being so caring and so wonderful in this community. Um, I hope to be back on a regular basis, um, but surely expect a, a video um, p uh, next week stay tuned and until then keep sewing and uh, be safe bye